this is a note for you guys. If you just make it more awkward, so they laugh, then they look like that, see? And then you go like this, yeah. So I finally have it in my hands, my new to me, fully reconditioned Nikon D750 that I got back from Nikon Australia just recently. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about using this camera in 2023, whether it's still a good purchase. I know it's funny to talk about because it's like a 10 year old camera, but one of the things I really wanna get across in my videos is that you don't need, um, you know, all the brand new tech, A7IVs, the Canon R5s, whatever. I'm gonna show you in this video that even with a 10 year old camera, a nine year old camera, whatever it is, you can get amazing photos uh, if you just learn how to use your gear properly. So that's what we're gonna be talking about in this video. I had a new friend of mine, Anthony, come and shoot behind the scenes. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the edited files and I'm gonna give you guys some raw files to download and play with for yourself. And as always, these photos were just edited with my preset packs. You can see them in the description. Uh, these were the new V3 2023 ones. Um, otherwise, let's just jump straight into the video. We'll go say hi to the couple first. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Hello. Hey, bro. Nice oh, to meet you. What, what was your name? Billy. Billy, sweet. You guys look sweet. <laughs> nah, it's fucking cold though. <laughs> yeah, I shot um, Quinn and. Georgia? Yeah, I shot their wedding. Yeah. Yeah. I was one of George's bridesmaids. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. so I look at your photo, I was like, man, I'm sure I know you. Oh, you're, I'm sure you've <laughs> oh, taken how many photos of different oh, people. Like 500 <laughs> weddings now. Yeah. Bonkers. Yeah. Oh, sick. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, they're pretty awkward people, but <laughs> this would be pretty cool. Oh, most people are awkward, eh? Like, everybody that books me is like, oh, we're really awkward. I'm like, yeah, I know. Yeah. Everybody is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Now this video though, just so you guys know, this is because this is the camera I started my business on. Wow. It's like an old, I mean, it's still a pro camera, but it's, yeah. I don't know, 10 years old. Yeah. And um, that's the new Beastie Mode ones. Yeah, right. Cool. So, but I got this for free, and then it was like half broken, and Nikon yeah. like refurbished it for me. Oh, cool. So I was like, yeah. I, the idea behind the video is I want to show people that you don't need this. Yeah. Because. That's cool. The photos will be the same. Yeah. It's just yeah. you have to work harder. Yeah. So you never had couple photos, right? Really? And we probably have 11 photos together. <laughs> yeah. Maybe two more yeah. for our wedding now, so two yeah. photos. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> we've never done anything like this, so yeah. Okay, sweet. We need heaps of guidance. And yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay, like, cool. Whatever you need. Like. Do you want to put those on? Do I? Uh, if, do, you, do you want them in the photos? I don't care. Don't bother then. Yeah. Yeah. Check him in the car. Check him in the car. Yeah. So basically, we're just gonna go for a walk anyway. So you don't have to do anything. Like, okay. um, you'll see. I probably I often like run off because okay. I like see something cool. Yeah. And if I hold the camera up, you don't have to look at me. Okay. Like yeah. if I hold it up and you feel weird, just look at each other. Okay. Yeah. So I'm under no illusion that the a7 IV that I use as my uh, main workhorse is better than this D750. It just is, uh, you know, if you're talking about technical ability, the, the D750 is just not as good. It's an old DSLR, but it still has a really amazing sensor and it still has a great autofocus system. And, you know, if you go back and think about it, when the D750 came out, it was the main camera for a lot of professionals, along with the D810. And even though nowadays they are you know, seen as like an old dinosaur of a camera, they still have amazing image sensors, they're still amazing in low light, and as you're going to see from these photos, you can still get the same result. I like to make it as awkward as possible, you know? Yeah, if you don't want it. We don't need it. Look at each other again? It's so weird using this camera. I keep going and look in the viewfinder to see the photo and it's not there. Yeah. I want you guys just to walk where those um, seagulls are and then I'll tell you when to turn around, just walk back towards me. The lens I was using for this whole shoot is the Nikon 24mm 1.8 
it's a cheap lens it's scratched up on the front but <laughs> it did the job as you'll see in these photos it's definitely not as sharp as my 24 mil g master um, i took some photos with that as well so we're going to compare those files uh, in a later video editing them side by side um, and you know i did notice they weren't as sharp or whatever on this nikon but i don't honestly think it matters they still look fantastic and it was good enough nine years ago for all the pros in the industry yeah cool turn around there and just walk straight towards me and look at each other and then look at me you guys are easy to photograph so this okay. is the first shoot I'd done with the D750. When I got it, it wasn't in the best condition and it had an issue with the shutter. Um, so uh, I looked it up online with the serial number and it was under one of the recalls that Nikon came out with with the D750. So fortunately, I was able to send it to Nikon Australia and they changed the shutter for free. But to my surprise, they also changed all the grips. Um, I think they changed the top dials. I don't know, it looks like a new camera now, so I'm just stoked. But, and it was all for free, so I don't know if they knew it was my camera or maybe they were doing it because they have this YouTube channel, but um, I didn't mention anything about that. I just sent it away through Open Camera and I got back this beautiful, brand new looking D750 with a new shutter on it for free. I want you guys to just, uh, again, just hold hands and walk down towards the water edge. Yeah. Okay, we're weird, weird, but you know. If you want, bro. Look at me guys, just stand there and just uh, chuck your other hand in your pocket and just hold his hand with both your hands. Yeah, yeah, that's it. And just come a little bit into him more. Yeah, there you go, perfect. You guys uh, just hit down there a bit more. Don't yep. get drowned, but like okay. just hit down that way. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Go a bit faster. Yeah, cool. One thing I picked up on straight away was obviously because it's not a mirrorless camera, you can't see the exposure in the camera, you can't see if the autofocus is working that well. You kind of can, but not as well as a mirrorless camera. So, you know, you just have to yeah. be a little bit more onto it when you're checking your exposure and checking, you know, checking the light meter, looking at images that you're taking. But yeah. when I was looking at the back of the screen, and by the way, this screen is still better quality than my brand new A7 IV. <laughs> so, I don't know what that says, but looking at the images on the back of the D750, I was just blown away straight away by the colors and um, it just looked great yeah. straight out of camera. Look at him again. And <laughs> him, yeah, he can laugh. <laughs> Mike, get you. If you sit over here, bro, and then she can just sit in between your legs and like cuddle up, keep her warm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Get that back light going. Nice, go one arm over and one arm under, you know? Other way. That's it, yeah, and then one arm under. Yeah, just like lean into each other. Yeah. Just look that way, yeah. And dig into her neck, bro. Get in there. Give her a kiss on the forehead or something. Yeah. And just look down, yeah. That, don't move, don't move. Oh. Just look down again. Yeah, hold that. After running around for a while and shooting more images, I kind of realized that I'm pretty sh I was pretty confident at that point that the images are going to be just the same and nobody's going to be able to tell the difference between this and my A7 IV other than a little bit of sharpness because this is a cheaper 24 mil, it's not the 1.4 or one of the Sigma Art Series lenses. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say 
give me Freddy or your ring or something like. I will just pretend. Just put your hands on her lap and like. <laughs> just like make it more awkward. I feel like this camera is pointless now. Like, I don't even feel like it's that hard. Help him up, help him up. Romance. Uh, uh. So at this point in the shoot, I was really having a lot of fun using the D750 and I was just shocked at how much better it is than what I thought it would be. Uh, I don't know why, I just, I guess I just assumed that it would just be way more of a pain in the ass than shooting with my mirrorless cameras is, but honestly it wasn't even that bad and I had a lot of fun shooting. So. Perfect. Oh, it's got a flash, look. Sorry about that. And then look at each other. <laughs> look at each other. <laughs> That's gonna be the cover. Wait, let me find it. Oh, I keep looking through there. Because that one this one has a display in here. Uh, okay, oh, yeah. wow. So when you like if you look, hold up to your eye. Oh, yeah. It shows yeah. like it's live. Yeah. Whereas this one, you're like looking through the actual After looking at the images in the computer and kind of culling them and editing them, uh, I did notice that maybe 85 to 90% of them were in focus. Whereas with the A7IV, probably all of them would have been in focus. I don't really cull for focus anymore with mirrorless cameras. Uh, I mean the A7IV anyway. Come stand in front of him now. Wrap your arms around her again. Like one arm over, one arm under. And just <laughs> hold his hands. <laughs> Look that way. Yeah, yeah. And then just kiss her on the forehead again, bro. Dig into it, like, get in there and like, hold that, then this. Yeah, glorious. Oh, oh my goodness. Hey guys. <laughs> You're so good. They're cute as fuck. <laughs> Thank you. I know, people will be like, you guys should get married. <laughs> yeah. This is a note for you guys. If you just make it more awkward, so they laugh, then they look like that, see? <laughs> and then you go like this, yeah. Nice. And then you take the money and you go home, <laughs> basically. You guys have fun? Yeah, it was so fun. I had fun. <laughs> we did. I, honestly though, after using this, I feel like it was way easier than I thought it would be, you know? Like I thought it would be way harder, the autofocus and that, but it's actually fine. The only thing is not being able to see the exposure and camera. Did they ever yeah. say like and subscribe or something? <laughs> you say it. <laughs> you say it, ask him. <laughs> like and subscribe. Nailed it. <laughs> I didn't even use the other lenses. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It was fun to make and I can't wait to make some more. One of the next ones I'm working on is a family shoot. So I'm gonna film a behind the scenes family shoot, but not only that, I'm gonna go through the whole process of um, you know, marketing a family shoot, how to sell it, how to get the clients, and then going through the shooting process, and then going through the editing process and delivering to the clients and all that kind of stuff. Um, I feel like family shoots are one of those things that is like a stepping stone into weddings, because a lot of it is kind of similar um, in the way that you're interacting with people. So if you want to see more of that kind of content, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn the notifications on. And I'll see you guys in the next video real soon. Mm -hmm.